In downtown Toronto, Mayor Rob Ford is a target of almost daily protests. Ford has to go! On the council floor of City Hall, he is a political pariah. Shame, shame. Have you purchased illegal drugs in the last two years? Yes, I have. And on Saturday Night Live, he is an opening sketch punchline. Your mayors can suck my <laughs> But in the Queen's Plate housing project, in the heart of the suburban Ford nation, he is the greatest public servant they have ever known. Don't step down. I'm not stepping down, don't worry. <laughs> and we are praying for you every day. Yes, we are. You've got to stay. What I always say, there's more poor people than there are rich people, and I stick up for the poor people. And that's the bottom line, so... <laughs> His brother invited us here to witness this love, a counterweight to the gauntlet of political foes downtown, doing all they can to strip away his power to lead. I'm interested in what happened this week about the, the vote. The, the, it was 41 to 2 right. to strip you of your emergency powers. It, it, that, from the outside, that seems like you guys are political outcasts. Okay, sure, because I'm not, you know how you want to make friends at City Hall? Just keep spending their money, spend taxpayers' money, let them go on their free trips, let them have their free food, let them do whatever they want. Do what you want with your money, not with taxpayers' money, then turn around and cry poor and say, oh, well, we don't have any money. But yes, we don't have any money. We have more than enough money. Do you have any political allies left? Well, Did you ever have any? No, we never had any in the beginning. We have the power of the people. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'll work day in and day out to knock these councillors off. I'm going to target their areas and work day in and day out to knock them off. Really? Oh, yeah, and I'm going to bring Ford Nation live just all right across the city. We're so you have spots. other candidates that you are going to foster in these oh, wards yeah. to try oh, to repeat yeah. what you guys have done? 100%. Really? Yeah. We're going to hit them hard. Everything we got. We make Chicago politics look like a tea party. <laughs> we do. It's vicious. Bill, you show me one other major city. I've saved a billion dollars that has turned it around like I have. Our roads are getting done now. It's clean. It's safe. The crime's down. Things are happening. Uh, we have more cranes in the sky. We have more jobs. We created over 50,000 jobs in one year last year. But take all of that. Given you all of that, couldn't you be even more effective if you were a little healthier in your lifestyle? Well, I'm, I'm trying to lose some weight. I'm working out. But why not I'm not see, perfect. But why not see some addiction specialists just to make I'm not sure? An, I'm not an addict. Why, why go see an addict when I'm not an addict? I'm not an alcoholic. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a drug addict. <laughs> Like, what, no, no, How like, why go see an addiction specialist when I'm not an addict? You guys can spin it. You can tell me whatever you want. These people know that I'm not. I show up every day to work. Every, yeah, you know what? Sure. Well, I've gone, you know, gone to a party and, and I got uh, a couple, couple of drinks with them. Yeah, I have some like, good times. All like, it's only human. You ever got drunk before, Bill? Yeah, you, of course. Cool. Okay, sure. But I'm, not, I'm, I'm not running the. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. See, this, this is the thing. I don't look at myself okay. as the mayor. I look at myself as just a normal, regular person. Okay. Yeah. This is going to be about Zion. It's not going to be about us anymore. Yeah, you know, that's enough. So, guys, I'm passionate. Sorry. Well, sorry. let me just one more question, Mayor. Okay. Let me question. This is the one that really, that really gets it for me. I know a lot of people who would party their brains out. Yeah. But their parents. And they dial it back because of their Yeah, and I don't, I don't do that. Yeah, I, absolutely I dial it but back. But here's the thing, here's my question. I mean, I'm sure you're insulating your children from what's going on now. Absolutely, I'm the best father around. But the, there's going to come a day when they Google their dad. And absolutely, they, and I'm going to explain why they, what they're hearing. I, I'm straightforward with my kids. I take my kids out, and, and, I, and I bring them to their, uh, my daughter to dance lessons. I'm teaching my son how to skate. And my wife support him, and my wife's had some issues. Well, you just dismiss them, you just walk away. I don't walk away from anyone, Bill, in life. I'm sitting here and support people that are down and out. All these rich elitist people, I'm sick of them. I'm sick of them. They're they sewers and they don't, no, they're no, perfect. They don't. they don't do nothing. Get out of they here, they don't do nothing. They they're the biggest crooks around. That's why they want to get rich. Sorry, I, 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 Just don't take it personal, Bill. There are so many questions to ask about the investigation into the murder of the man in this photo, why he dropped the P-bomb on live television, and brought his wife to the apology. But on this night, Rob Ford is done explaining. And as one more example of his emotional pendulum, he stops to laugh and chat football. Cassius, our producer. 49ers, you're really, your heart's back in California, eh? I've never been there, but all these guys want me to go down to California, so yeah. Oh, what's it called? You want these guys to be able to hook you up? Oh, Charlie Sheen, all these guys want me to go down there. But, you know, I wanna, I...